Hello, I'm Andrew Wharton from the Victorian Apris Association. This is the first of what I hope will be a regular series of videos profiling some of our VAA members. I'm talking to Vice President Lindsay Calloway, who's been responsible for leading the VAA's rebranding project. So I'll bring him in now from the virtual green room. Hello, Lindsay, and welcome. You've been Vice President now for a couple of years but you also have some roles on some other national beekeeping bodies. Can you tell us about them, please? Yeah. G'day, Andrew. Thanks for having me in. Um, yeah, I'm currently on the Arbic executive and I'm also helping with the Honey Importation Committee and the upcoming 2026 Congress that hopefully might be in Victoria. We'll wait and see. So. Good. And Lindsay, you, your beekeeping has been in your family for many years. Was it your grandfather who first started keeping bees? Uh, Andrew, it was actually my great great grandfather. So, yeah, we've got a really proud beekeeping history here. And, um, yeah, we, we've been commercially beekeeping since the 1890s. So, yeah, it's a proud five generations. And, yeah. Right. And and what about the business now? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, so Warrell Malden's based in a nice little little nice little town, Malden, obviously. Um, it's a quaint little historical town and we've got a custom built factory here. We employ about fourteen people and we pack our honey under a global food standard and we're B Coal accredited. Um, we do large scale pollination. So, yeah, all things bees and honey and treetop to tabletop, we call it. So Right. And as I said before, Lindsay's been leading the VAA's rebranding exercise that we launched at our recent annual conference. But for the benefit of members who weren't able to get to that meeting, we're going to introduce here the project and the new logo. So Lindsay's got some slides to bring on and um, I'll bring them up now. And Thanks, away Andrew. you go, Lindsay. Yep, no worries. Um, so it's been a nine-month process so far. We've engaged with a um, internationally recognised brand creative. Uh, his name is Barry, and he's been guiding the whole board um, on this journey to rebrand the Victorian Ape Association. So, yeah, it's been a pretty in-depth process. We've engaged with key stakeholders, um, across Australia, um, friends and foes. So we've had a, a good 360 degree look at ourselves and yeah, pretty proud of what we've come up with. So um, yeah, and part of that process was having a bit of a helicopter view of, of the landscape and what the current um, state peak, peak bodies look like now in terms of brand and, and um, yeah, it's been a, a pretty pretty in-depth process. So, and, yeah, out of that, as presented at the um, recent con conference in Wontaggi, which was a pretty successful conference, I hear, um, we presented this new brand. So the brand is um, something that we can be proud of. Hopefully it will unite all beekeepers in Victoria and... Um, yeah, we're pretty, pretty happy with it. So, and it's, um, yeah, it's got a suite of assets. We have a 16 page style guide and we're working with Barry ongoing in terms of building the assets and getting what we need to have our one look, one feel, one voice for the VAA. And, and this is an example. Um, this is another example of, of just how we can be proud to be Victorian beekeepers. And, um, and again, this is, this is an example of um, the assets at work. So you have a, a picture here of two beekeepers at two ends of the scale and, um, and the brands working to be the voice for everyone um, in Victoria. So, we, we're proud to be the home of Victorian beekeepers. And again, this is another nice mock-up. These are just examples of the brand and the assets at work. Um, this, this photo here is a lady who's never 
seen a beehive before. Um, so yeah, she's donned the veil and lit the smoker and large scale pollination. Um, that's obviously one of our trucks. Um, I'm a beekeeper, so yeah, whether you're three or 30 or 103, you can still be a proud Victorian um, beekeeper. So, and we're, we're on a journey and um, yeah, we go, obviously we go to places, magical places around the state and we're a big part of the food security. So again, this is an example of um, the brand at work. And one thing that Barry helped us with was to unpack a bit more around um, our mission, our, our pride, our purpose and our participation as Victorian beekeepers. So, um, so <clears throat> now we're in the execution phase. Um, we want to... Um, <clears throat> have brand extensions for the commercial and recreational beekeepers. We know Varroa's um, not far away, so we really need to be united together to tackle that. It affects all of us. Um, we, we, we're we about um, change. We want to inc be inclusive, um, engage with key stakeholders, and, and like the previous slide, unpack our values and purpose and promise a bit more and grow grow the peak body um, to represent all beekeepers. All right. Thank you, Lindsay. That was great. Um, personally, I like the logo very much and I love its modern look. But of course, as you said, the logo is only part of the whole project and updating the VAA, particularly in terms of its responsiveness to our members, is going to be a very exciting challenge over the next few months. Lindsay, did you have anything else to say before we sign off? No, that's that's great, Andrew. I appreciate you having me drop in and the opportunity to introduce myself and unpack a bit more about the brand. Um, yeah, really excited about next steps and growing the VA and engaging more with recreational and commercial beekeepers and everywhere in between. So appreciate the opportunity and, yeah, Glad the, glad the brand's starting to get a bit of traction and I believe you've updated the website and, yeah, so there's more to come. So thank you. Great. Thanks very much, Lindsay.